Why are you always tired? Na Sulta. Welcome to day 13. It's an off day and we have some comfortable meals rolling us today. We hit the 247s this week and it's been quite a fatiguing past few days. But this fatigue is not the one we are talking about. A lot of young adults, especially when they get married or hit their mid-30s, start feeling constant daytime sleepiness and are chronically sluggish. So unless you have some serious health issue underlying or are pregnant, most of this might stem from psychological stress or poor nutrition, like overeating repeatedly to counteract any stress or sugar exploitation, stuff like that or lack of movement. So before you dive into cognitive behavior therapy or acupuncture and stuff like that to fix all of that, try this. Number one, a proper sleep hygiene. Next, a healthy choice of diet. And number three, most important, a balanced daily energy expenditure. First one's easy. Keep your own cool and make sure you use the bed only for sleeping and nothing else like chilling or talking to your friend on the phone or whatever. And make sure you kick everything and everyone out of the room that doesn't belong in the bedroom after 8.20, which includes your screens. The second one's literally being able to eat foods that you can name all the ingredients of. If you have to look back at the label to figure out what's in it, probably save it for later. And thirdly, for the sake of you, stop your work from stopping you. Move. Unless you include some sort of activity every single day of your life, your life will never ever improve. It's sad that we even have to say this because activity is human nature. So there you have it, a fatigue-free blueprint. Nalik Pakla.